Hello everybody, today I'm going to be just walking you through the uh, latest UPS Advanced Delivery Modules for KubeCart version 5. Uh, this uh, really does allow you to take advantage of any UPS contracts you may have. So it will talk to UPS and it will get you your shipping quotes based on any preferred rates you have and the information contained within your UPS contract. This, uh, this solution comes in two individual packages. Uh, the first is a standard plugin, and the second is the actual shipping method itself. So I'm just going to run through uh, the configuration of each and explain how these work. So the first option here is the plugins, and we can see we have UPS multi-item. And there's not much to really configure within this plugin except your license information. Um, it tells you the version number that you're using here as well. So this is purely um, for licensing. It does also allow us to add some additional tabs to the product edit screens. Um, so let me just show you that. Let's edit our product. You can see here we have this UPS tab. So this isn't a tab that you would normally find within KubeCut. So if we click on the UPS tab, you see we have some configurable options. So the first is these multi-box settings. So KubeCut doesn't actually support uh, splitting up your consignments into multiple boxes, um, but you may have a requirement to do so. Um, so this allows you to specify you know, large items that require their own box, which UPS would charge you per box. Um, so all you can do here is ship in single box, yes or no. Well, this particular item I know is a bulky item. So yes, I want it to ship in its own box. Um, for items that you don't ship in a single box, you can configure if this item is considered a small item. For example, you know, like a packet of hairpins or a packet of cards or, or something small that you can tuck inside a large box. So because it's a single box item, this is set to no. Uh, include small items means because it's shipping in its single box, we want to be able to include some of these small items or products that are configured as is a small item equals yes inside this box and then we decide how many of those small items we want to actually include in this box so for this particular product we want to include four so just to give you a hypothetical scenario you your customer comes along purchases the big item which is configured with ship in single box and then two packets of cards for example which we know is a small item it would bundle it all into a single box um, and, uh, and would give you a quote just for that one box if they purchased more than the limit so four or f uh, five you know, small items, then it would uh, it would actually break it up into two separate boxes and quote for both boxes and give you the total. We can now also add dimensions, um, which you can spe uh, specify in either centimeters or inches, and I'll show you where you configure which system you're using in, in a little while. The, um, the dimensions are optional. You do not have to supply them, um, but if you do, you will get much more accurate quotes, um, which will obviously work out better in your favor so you don't undercharge for your packages. So once you've specified your options for each product, you just save this and uh, and you're good to go. Uh, it is required um, with all UPS modules, even the ones within KubeCart that come as standard, that you specify a weight for every product. Okay, so once you've configured all your products with the UPS information, we can then go on and configure the actual shipping module itself. And here you can see uh, see just the, the, the configuration screen. So you see there's a lot more options than you would find in the standard UPS uh, module. So the first thing is uh, the UPS account settings um, and these are settings that you may need to request from UPS specific to your contract. So the first thing you need is an API key and you will need to request this information from UPS. They will give you uh, a, a license key that you can use. The next two pieces of information um, is the username and password that you use to log into the UPS website. And the final information is the UPS account number that um, is available within you know, your UPS login. So those pieces of information you need to get from UPS and they are required bits of information. The next uh, we find are the module settings. So the first thing is do we enable or disable the module? 
well, enable please. <laughs> the next is uh, if we are adding any packaging weight to each individual box. Um, so you can add, you know, whatever um, additional weight um, just to cover your packaging weights and make sure you get a more accurate quote. A handling cost, um, which we can add here, whether or not you want to choose a handling cost. Uh, this is an overall handling cost. So, you know, total up, let's say, 10 boxes plus one handling fee. So you can specify this here if you choose to do so. Uh, your tax type uh, is the same as the other module. So you just choose reduced rate, standard tax, tax exempt. Uh, your packaging type, there are a few different options here. Um, these are all of the available options um, that UPS provide, um, but you may need to check um, which one uh, is best suits you, but most of the time, uh, in all the experience I've seen, um, people use customer packing. Uh, unit of measurement, uh, centimetres or inches, so this is what I mentioned earlier when you were configuring the product dimensions. Um, just a point of note here, um, UPS require you to either use the metric system or the imperial system, um, they don't allow you to mix the two together. So if your weights are in uh, in pounds, then you would need to use inches, and if your weights are in kilograms, you would need to use centimeters. Um, I've tried to write into this module, you know, uh, corrections. So if you're using the wrong combination, it will convert the weights from you know, um, kilograms to pounds and pounds to kilos as required. So it shouldn't really cause a problem, um, but it does allow you to to choose which um, which measurement system you are using um, when you specify your dimensions. So it, it's up to you which system you use. Uh, your pickup types, uh, again these are all of the options that UPS offer, um, you just need to pick the one that's appropriate for you. Um, you can add a percentage to the overall shipping cost. Um, so for each additional box, you know, the ship to get the quote from UPS, add let's say 5% just to cover any uh, any margins of errors there, or if you just want to add a little bit extra um, to cover any hidden costs. Um, you can also add a fixed handling cost per box, um, which is very similar to the handling cost, but uh, you obviously choose this for a per box solution rather than an overall solution. And then the next option is you can choose whether or not you want to apply this um, handly, handling fee for every single box, or only for those items configured as single box items. Um, there is a slight difference, uh, but you know, it basically there's, there'll be one large box and you choose whether or not you want to choose a handling fee for that box. Um, if you're using the uh, the single box items, uh, the next um, we've split up the actual services into domestic services and international services. Um, so these are all of the options that UPS had available at the time of writing this API, uh, this this solution with their API. Um, so you just pick the ones that are suitable for yourselves. You should be able to use this UPS solution from any UPS supported country, um, but I haven't been able to test it for every country, but in theory the API does support requests you know, from, from pretty much any country that you can use UPS in. Um, so if you do start using it um, outside of the US um, or you want to try it out, let me know if you run into any problems and I'll put some fixes in for you if there are problems. So once you've configured all of your options, you can actually start to use the module itself. So I'm going to show you uh, using some fake data and, um, uh, and one of my customers, um, Arms Woodshop. I'm going to use their template just to show you, um, you know, the, the shipping quotes working. So I've already added the doll stroller, which we saw earlier, um, to my cart. I'm simply refreshing the page. Select your shipping method's gone away, and it's given us three individual quotes. So we have UPS ground, three day select and two day, which were the options we'd chosen. And it's given us an accurate price in US dollars for each. So then you would just simply choose your shipping method and then continue checkout as you would normally. Uh, one other thing to note here is we have an extra tab within the shipping module and that is the UPS error log. So you can look at this and you can check if there have been any specific errors. Um, an error could be something like, you know, we don't ship to your country, um, but it's useful because if you're having problems with configuration, you can look in here and pick out the specific, uh, specific errors and it should give you an idea of what you need to do to correct it. 
So that's pretty much uh, a very quick run through of, of this module. Um, if you want any more information, let me know. Um, and demo licenses are available on request. Thank you very much.